Hello Flight Simmers and welcome back to Alpha Hotel Flight Simulator Training. I made this video to address a couple of errors from my last video on instrument approaches on the Garmin 530 and 430. These are related to an error found in Flight Simulator commonly called the U-Turn error. And although I'll be showing this on the Garmin 530, it's my understanding that this affects all stock avionics in the game. Likewise, the workaround should work for all stock avionics in the game as well. In the video on approaches, I stated that to load an approach, you need to either be going direct to an airport or have it as the last fix in your flight plan, and that you should generally load the approach after passing the last in route or arrival fix, lest some of your in route flight plan or arrival be deleted. While that is a true statement, there is an error in the nav function in Flight Simulator that causes problems when you load an approach after your final in route or arrival fix. It can cause all sorts of interesting behavior from your avionics, from making you turn back to your last fix before proceeding to the fix on the approach, to flying a course it's not depicting. Fortunately, there is a workaround. Here's what you need to do to utilize this workaround. Prior to reaching your last in route or arrival fix, you'll want to insert the fix where you plan to begin your approach into the flight plan. This can be any initial approach fix, intermediate approach fix, or feeder route fix that is in the database for that approach in Flight Sim. It should be placed after the last in route or arrival fix, but prior to the airport. If the arrival creates a user waypoint in the GPS for a heading or track after the last published fix, the approach fix should go after this user waypoint. Loading this fix or loading this approach fix can be done manually in the GPS any time before you get to the last published fix, including on the ground prior to departure. Just make sure you've loaded the rest of the flight plan first, including any arrival if you plan to use one. If you don't plan to fly an arrival, you can actually load this fix in the flight planner as part of your flight planning process. If you plan to fly an arrival, which I still recommend loading in the GPS after you've completed your base flight plan, you'll need to load the, the approach fix manually into the GPS during the flight session. You can load or activate the approach once you're heading to or past your final in route or published arrival fix. I would caution against loading it much earlier than this though, as doing this can create duplicate arrival waypoints that will cause a U-turn issue. You also want to load the approach prior to the user waypoint if the arrival has one, as loading it after this can create a second user waypoint that can cause problems. Let's take a look at a few quick examples of how this works. So we'll take a look at a sample flight plan from Addington or Elizabethtown, Kentucky up to uh, Bardstown, Kentucky. And the route of flight for this flight is going to be uh, Elizabethtown direct to New Hope VOR and then direct Bardstown. And when I get up to Bardstown, I'm planning on flying the RNAV GPS to runway 21, and I'm planning to use the Western initial approach fix of FAMRU. Uh, so what I can do to prevent uh, having the U-turn error from occurring is to actually load that fix, that first initial fix, in my flight plan. So I'll load, load FAMRU, use the search function to find it. There it is and it is up north of the airport what I, where I would expect it to be for an approach. So I'll just go ahead and add that to the arrival. And now when I get into this uh, flight session, well, it put it in the wrong order. So uh, it's going Lexington, Framaru, then New Hope. So I will take out New Hope and then I will put a New Hope back in. So there we go. Now it's in the right order. So Lexington, New Hope, and then Famru. And then uh, once I load up the session and fly, uh, I can go ahead and load up the approach since the uh, initial approach fix is already part of the flight plan. And it will go sequence straight through the approach um, without that U-turn error. Okay, so let's say that I forgot to load that fix in there during the flight planning phase. That's okay. I can still load it in the GPS manually. So I'm on the same route we just looked at. I'm going Elizabethtown over to Bardstown, uh, and the route of flight is uh, direct New Hope, direct Bardstown. Uh, so what I want to do is go into the flight plan and insert uh, FAMRU, uh, that initial approach fix. So I toggle the cursor on the flight plan page and I scroll down to the airport because the airport is a fix I want to push down. 
I want uh, FAMRU to go right here and I want the airport to move down one slot. So I highlight the airport and then I twist the cursor to insert my fix and I will put uh, FAMRU in here, which is Fox Alpha uh, Mike Romeo Uniform. All right, so I've got FAMRU in there and all I have to do is press enter to accept and it is added into the flight plan. So if I, uh, I can take a look here and all the fixes are in there. And then if I take a look at the uh, moving map, and back off just a little bit here we can see now I go New Hope and instead of going to Bardstown I go up to FAMRU and then once we pass New Hope and we're headed to FAMRU we can go ahead and load that approach alright so we've made the turn up to FAMRU so now we can go ahead and load up the approach so we'll go to procedure and activate our cursor select approach we want the RNAV to runway 21 enter we want the uh, FAMRU uh, initial approach fix, so we'll enter that. And then go ahead and hit load. And then if we go back here, we can now see that uh, we go New Hope to FAMRU. And then the airport is also in there, but that's just to show us the approach. So now we have FAMRU, OX4, UNDOS, and then the runway. And then that's our last fix. And uh, it does have FAMRU in there twice, but we can see when we pull up the moving map, uh, it just goes FAMRU, OX4, UNDOS. It doesn't go FAMRU back to the airport and then back out. Uh, so it will fly this approach straight around. Uh, so that is the workaround for um, avoiding that U-turn error. And let's take a look at uh, one more uh, example using an arrival. All right, so I am uh, inbound to Addison Airport uh, from the east. I am on the finger arrival. Uh, into Addison Airport and I'm planning to fly the RNAV to runway uh, 15 once I get to Addison. Uh, if we take a look at the flight plan here, uh, first we'll take a look at the chart and we'll notice that uh, the finger arrival, uh, we're actually doing the Paris transition and it brings us down to finger intersection then it tells us to fly a heading of 230 after finger for vectors to the approach. And so if I pull up the uh, flight plan list in here, uh, I notice that I have uh, Paris Airport, uh, or excuse me, Paris VOR, which is the start of the transition for that arrival. Mani, ropes, finger, and then that user waypoint that's going to have us fly the 230 um, track and get us set up for flying that 230 heading. And then finally, the airport. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to throw in my first uh, approach fix that I'm going to use. I'm going to use the initial approach fix of Sorne. Uh, which is coming from the direction that I'm coming from, and it's the only one that makes sense that's in the database because only Sorny and Ornick are in the database. So I'll go ahead and highlight Addison Airport. I want to again step on the fix that I want to push down. So if I uh, push, if I enter a fix here, it will enter the fix at this location, and it will be after the user waypoint. It'll push the Addison Airport down, and then that fix is going to live on this line right here. So I'll go ahead and in, enter uh, Sorne intersection. I've got the highlight there. I'll go ahead and turn the cursor, and we'll get Sorne enter, entered in here. Okay, so there's Sorne intersection. We've got that loaded in there. We'll go ahead and press Enter to accept, and that will put us in our flight plan. So we've got ropes, finger, user, and Sorne. And if we take a look at the moving map, we'll see that we now go Monty to ropes. Uh, ropes, finger, user, and then Sorne intersection. Uh, so that all looks good in there. One little quirk is that actually, uh, well, it looks good this time. Sometimes it will sequence to the next waypoint. Uh, I've seen it, so it's sequencing finger to user, but it will still show the uh, current segment as the active uh, track. So now we'll go ahead and fly past finger intersection uh, and get. Uh, prior to that user waypoint and we'll go ahead and activate the approach once we get to that point. Okay, so we've sequenced past finger intersection to the user waypoint. So before we get to that user waypoint, we want to go ahead and load up the approach. So with procedure, get the cursor active, select approach. We want to do the RNAV to runway 15. There that is. And we want to use Sorne intersection. And there that is, hit enter and load and activate again on the stock GPS does the same thing so we'll just go ahead and hit load and then if we go back to the flight plan here we see it goes finger user Addison and then it goes Sorne, uh, Bonu, uh, Jarrett, 
and runway 15. And then that is the last fix in the flight plan. And if we look at the actual flight map here, we can see it's still navigating to the user waypoint, but after that it's going to go to user or, uh, user to Sorne, Bonu, Jarrett, and Addison. So it should fly us straight in on the approach there. You don't need to use this procedure if you've uh, used the direct function to go direct to an airport. You can still just load the approach in that case. And you typically don't need to do this if an arrival and an approach share a common fix, although you may need to go back and delete any fixes that appear twice in the flight plan. You also don't need to worry about this at all if you have the mod for the 530 or 430 or any of the working title mods for avi other avionics, for example, the uh, working title G1000 mod. All of these mods have workarounds built in that eliminate this problem. And they're probably honestly the simpler and better solution, especially given all the other added functionalities they incorporate in their respective systems or aircraft. One other error that's currently inherent to Flight Simulator on approaches is that attempting to change a flight plan once you've loaded an approach can cause serious problems with the nav functions. We saw this on one of our example approaches in the last video, the RNAV to runway 18 left in Greenville, Mississippi, when I went direct to the initial approach fix. The types of changes that can cause problems include trying to add a fix, delete a fix, or go direct to a fix, like I did. It can cause the GPS to not depict a course it's flying, to fly a course that's not depicted, to list the waypoints in uh, the not the correct order, or say that you're going to a fix that you're not actually going to. Uh, it can bypass fixes during the approach, or it can completely dump all the fixes and revert to a blank flight plan. So to avoid this problem, try making edits to your flight plan prior to loading your approach. After the approach is lo loaded, avoid making edits or using the direct feature. Use heading mode to get yourself onto an appropriate course if you need to. This problem can present itself when editing or going direct in a non-approach segment, but it does seem to happen far less frequently outside of the approach phase. The Flight Simulator team promises that they are working diligently to correct these issues, so hopefully they'll be taken care of in the not-too-distant future. In the meantime, hopefully these workarounds will help you to enjoy your Flight Simulator flying a little more. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.